But anyway, enough of that. I'm gonna import this into Final Cut Pro now and see if I can just get rid of the green, put me somewhere else. So I have a brand new Final Cut Pro 10 event library opened up. What I'm gonna do is call it green screen test. Import media directly from the phone that I'm shooting on now. And I want the last one, which is bloody hell, four and a half minutes talking about green screens. Import that, and that's on the way. So in order to use the green screen and the chroma key in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, it's relatively simple. We're gonna start a new project, name it green screen, and drag and drop this entire clip into the timeline. Shift and Z makes the timeline fit exactly the length of the project, and I'm gonna cut out this portion. Just working with this clip. Now all that I really should need to do is go into my effects tab, make sure all is selected, and type key, and the key comes up. And if I drag this over onto the clip that I'm currently editing, this green should automatically disappear. And then you can dial in the settings and adjust what you need to make it exactly as you need it. So if I drag that over, there we go. <laughs> I keep doing this on here as if this live feed will affect what's going on here. This is a solid clip that I've uh, recorded previously. Stop being a dunce. Now you can see that on the right hand side, I've still got some of this stuff on show. So what we need to do is mask this out. So if I come down to key, get rid of that, type mask we want draw mask drag that onto the clip and then up here it's best to zoom out to about 50 percent because then you can draw the mask on the entire um, backdrop as well so you just click points to draw the mask that's taken me out so if I come over to the settings on the mask if I invert the mask that should have got rid of that. Superb. Obviously there's still a little bit of a problem here which is where my shadow is coming from the light that's casting this shadow here. I will go in and have a look now if I can maybe get rid of that with the settings. On the Kia. Let's have a look. Uh, the matte settings are what we want to concern ourselves with at the moment I think. So if we shrink, there we go, look at that. Setting basically um, if I put it back to zero, you can see that I've got this little white glow around me. The matte settings, just as far as I'm aware, I'm not an expert in this, but it's just from self-learning and playing around with these settings. If you shrink that slightly, it gets rid of a couple of the pixels around me, gets rid of that glow around me on the screen, and I'm happy with that. So if I play that now, it's just like I'm in a black void. So what we'd like to do is come into DuckDuckGo, and where would I like to go? I've always wanted to go to... Hawaii, look at that, beautiful. Um, I can't really put myself <laughs> here, can I? That'd be like I'm floating above Hawaii. We need a nice, uh, perhaps something like this. And now I need to throw that underneath the layer that has me keyed out, but that has me on it with the green screen keyed out. Come on, drag it all the way along. And there I am talking about, oh, I just need to make that a bit bigger with the scale. And there I am, so I'm gonna go into Amazon now. talking in Hawaii. Type it in. Can't get better than that, can it? It's pretty much Avengers level. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers level uh, video graphics manipulation. Um, I'm gonna stop this here. I will actually upload this, I think, because it's a quick, simple little tutorial of how to get a green screen set up and keyed out. Right, I'm gonna finish this here. Hope you got something out of this. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing as always. And I will see you next time.